Hello friends. Today, we are bringing another very important video to all of you for your kind information and enjoyment. The most important disease and the most important disease to be prevented in this world is the cardiovascular diseases, heart diseases. In this world nowadays, the most number of people killed by any disease is the cardiovascular disease. So this is the disease which is the world's number one cause of mortality. And according to the World Health Organization, cardiovascular diseases take an estimated 17.9 million lives every year, representing 32% of all global deaths. Now, most of the diseases of the heart, they are occurring in the low to middle income countries. And this is truly universal problem. And it has got a huge economic impact. And uh, there are certain interconnections with certain diseases which and certain health conditions which we need to take into account and we should check from time to time. Now the most important is hypertension, that is high blood pressure. A leading risk factor itself, often called the silent killer. Next is obesity and unhealthy diets. These are the major drivers of cardiovascular disease. Next is the physical inactivity. That is a key modifiable risk factor. And we can remove this risk factor anytime if we are motivated. Next is the diabetes, which significantly increases the risk of heart disease. Last but not the least is the air pollution now recognized as a major environmental risk factor for heart and lung diseases. Now, the cornerstone of the heart healthy lifestyle is the only solution which can prevent all these diseases. Number one is don't smoke and avoid secondhand smoke. This is the most important thing you can do for your heart. Why? Smoking damages the lining of your arteries, reduces oxygen in your blood, and raises blood pressure and heart rate. How? So how to remove this factor is quit. If you don't smoke, don't start. So if you have not been smoking earlier, don't start smoking and avoid secondhand smoke. When somebody is smoking in front of you or near you, the inhaled, the exhaled smoke that comes out into the air is called a secondhand smoke. And if you smoke this secondhand smoke, you will be more injured than the person who is primarily smoking. So you have to take the help of health professionals who can help you stop this heavy up smoking. Next is adopt a heart healthy diet. What you eat has a direct impact on your weight, blood pressure, cholesterol and blood sugar. Emphasize fruits and vegetables. Aim for a variety of colors at least four to five servings each day. Next whole grains like oats, brown rice, quinoa, whole wheat bread, these are very important. Next, lean protein, like skinless poultry, fish, legumes, beans and lentils, nuts. Next are the healthy fats like avocado, olive oil, nuts and seeds. 
then you have to limit taking saturated and trans fats. Found in red meat, butter, fried foods, and processed snacks. These raise the bad low density lipoproteins, that is, low density cholesterol in your blood. Now, salt, sodium in the salt is also a very important factor. You should aim to take less than one teaspoonful. So high sodium increases blood pressure. Added sugars are found in the sodas, sweets, baked goods, and many processed foods. And the popular plants are considered diets like the DAS diet. The long form of the DAS diet means the dietary approaches to stop hypertension. This diet is also called the Mediterranean diet. They are specifically designed for heart health. Next, get regular physical activity. Exercise strengthens your heart muscle, helps manage weight, and improves other risk factors. Aim for at least 150 minutes of moderate intensity aerobic exercise. For example, bricks walking, cycling, swimming, or 75 minutes of vigorous intensity exercise per week. So the 150 minutes of moderate intensity aerobic exercise for one week, or 75 minutes of vigorous intensity exercise per week. This includes strength training exercises, for example, the weightlifting, resistance bands, at least two days per week. Tips are even short bouts of activities like 10 minutes at a time. It also counts. Now the key is to be consistent and find activities you enjoy. Next is maintain a healthy weight. Being overweight, especially around the abdomen, strains your heart and is linked to high cholesterol, high blood pressure, and type 2 diabetes. How to do this? By focusing on the combination of diet and exercise which are given above. Now, even a small weight loss of 5 to 10 percent of your body weight can make a significant difference. Next is get quality sleep. Poor sleep, but not enough and low quality is linked to a higher risk of heart diseases. Aim for seven to nine hours of quality sleep per night. So by average seven to eight hours in a night, especially from around 9 p.m. to 5 a.m. in the morning uh, is the ideal time for sleep. Watch for conditions like sleep apnea, which causes you to stop breathing during sleep and is a significant risk factor for heart problems. Symptoms include loud snoring and daytime fatigue, daytime sleepiness. Now, many stress. Many stress you can do yogas or meditation. And chronic stress can raise the blood pressure and may lead to unhealthy coping habits like overeating or drinking. Now, healthy coping mechanisms practice physical activity, mindfulness, meditation, deep breathing, yoga, or spend time on hobbies and with loved ones. Next thing is, you have to be knowing your own numbers. Know your numbers. What are the numbers? A healthy lifestyle is the foundation, but you must partner with your doctor to monitor key health metrics. Get regular checkups and know these numbers. First of all, the risk factor are, as mentioned below, blood pressure. It should be less than 120 by 80 millimeter of mercury. High blood pressure damages arterial walls. Now cholesterol. The bad cholesterol should be less than 100 mg per deciliter. And the high density lipoproteins, there's the 
good cholesterol should be more than 40 milligram per deciliter for men and it should be it should be more than 50 milligram per deciliter for women and a high LDL causes plaque buildup and HDL helps remove this so you have to increase the level of HDL and lower the levels of LDL cholesterol next is the blood sugar blood sugar should be less than 100 milligram per deciliter in fasting and high levels can indicate pre-diabetes or diabetes which damages blood vessels next is the body mass index the body mass index should be from 18.5 to 24.9 a measure of healthy weight for your weight for your height so if your numbers are not in the ideal range your doctor can help you create a plan to lifestyle changes and if necessary medications for example uh, for blood pressure cholesterol or diabetes medications may be needed other important factors are you have to limit alcohol intake if you drink so do in a very much moderation this means up to one drink per day for women and up to two drinks for per day for men not more than this then next is get vaccinated better to vaccinate yourself for uh, diseases like flu COVID-19 etc which can give a severe strain on your heart staying vaccinated is a form of heart protection especially for elderly people above 60 or 65 you need to give proper vaccinations now you need to have a simple checklist for prevention as I have already mentioned earlier like a schedule a checkup for knowing your numbers then quit smoking and avoid secondhand smoke next is move more throughout the day aim for 30 minutes in most days Port one is add fruits and vegetables to your meal every meal if you can then fifth one is short processed foods for whole foods so all processed foods package items should not be taken into the household number six is a practice stress reduction techniques daily so stress should be removed by meditations and mindfulness and yoga number seven is prioritize seven to nine hours of sleep so prioritize seven to nine hours of sleep minimum seven to eight hours per night especially from 9 a.m uh, 9 p.m to 5 a.m would be ideal so these are uh, about the heart diseases so the most important disease all over the world which causes the highest number of deaths is cardiovascular disease or heart disease and today in our video we have given you how to prevent heart diseases and what are the factors which has to be avoided to avoid the heart attacks and the heart diseases with this we come to the end of today's video stay healthy stay happy fit and uh, help each other this is the motto of our staying fit channel stay healthy stay fit helping each other you can lead a very nice wonderful life if you have not subscribed to our channel kindly subscribe to our channel and if you like the video kindly give like it is only one second for you kindly help us so that we can keep on bringing good videos for you and kindly subscribe so that every time when we bring out a nice video it will immediately go to your electronic equipments thank you very much bye bye have a great day